Flagler wrote, he didn't like St. Augustine. The accommodations and the food were terrible. When visiting the historic part of downtown St. Augustine, the Castillo de San Marcos, the narrow streets, the architecture, all remind you of the Spanish influence on the city. You'll also find the influence of Henry Flagler. Northerners started coming to St. Augustine during the winter because they were battling sicknesses like tuberculosis or other respiratory illnesses. The sunshine, the warm weather, and the salty air seemed to offer relief for their symptoms. One of the wealthy men who visited St. Augustine was Henry Flagler. He brought his first wife, Mary, down to St. Augustine because she was ill. The Flagler spent, well, not much time. In fact, just one day in St. Augustine. And Flagler wrote, he didn't like St. Augustine. The accommodations and the food were terrible. Flagler didn't return to the city for almost a decade. His first wife died, he remarried, and he tried a new modern resort that was built across from the iconic fort. He wasn't a fan of the accommodations, but felt it was an improvement from his last visit. Flagler said, okay, I'm going to build a hotel in St. Augustine that is a first class hotel. He brought down chefs, he brought in laborers, maids, bellhops, waiters to have first class help in his hotel. Flagler's first hotel in the city, the Ponce de Leon. Now Flagler, an enterprising man, realized that in order to make it easily accessible to people from the north, railroad transportation north needed to be improved. He purchased the railroad from Jacksonville to St. Augustine and improved the tracks. By the time the hotel opened, it only took 30 hours to travel between New York City and St. Augustine. But he didn't stop there. So in addition to the Hotel Ponce de Leon, across the way he built the Hotel Alcazar. The Alcazar also had therapeutic baths. And then there was a large indoor swimming pool. Also, you could catch a carriage at the Alcazar and take a ride down to the south end of town where Henry Flagler had built a nine-hole golf course. Flagler purchased a third hotel that was partially built, but which had stalled in construction due to financial issues. So he ended up with three hotels, the Ponce de Leon, the Alcazar, and the Casa Monica. Today, they are the focal point of the Flagler era in St. Augustine. Only one of them, the Casa Monica, is still a hotel today. The Ponce de Leon Hall is the centerpiece of Flagler College, which was established in 1968. It's recognized as a national historic landmark. The Alcazar is now home to a city hall and the Leitner Museum. St. Augustine eventually became the permanent residence for Henry Flagler, as well as his final resting spot. <laughs>